Jai Hind everyone. This is Shri Chaudhary and I am back with a new topic. The topic we are going to deal today is, let me write down, D. Broglie, D. Broglie equation, equation for wavelength, wavelength of an electron. So this is the topic that we have to take. Before going into the topic, let me tell you what de Broglie said. De Broglie said that the moving particle sometimes acts as a wave and sometimes acts as a particle. Let me repeat it again. De Broglie said that a moving particle sometimes acts as a wave and sometimes acts as a particle. The wave associated with that particle will be termed as matter wave or de Broglie wave. The wave associated with that particle will be termed as matter wave or de Broglie wave. And hence, the wavelength of that wave will be termed as de Broglie wavelength. The wavelength of that wave will be termed as de Broglie wavelength. So the equation for the wavelength will be given by lambda is equals to h upon p. Lambda will be equals to h upon p where lambda is equals to wavelength. Wavelength. h equals to Planck constant. Planck constant. And p is equals to momentum. Momentum. So p will be equals to mv. This is the formula that we know. Hence, on putting the formula in the previous equation that we can treat as equation number 1. So, lambda will be equals to h upon mv. Since kinetic energy is equals to half mv square on cross multiplying 2 into kinetic energy upon m in under root will be equals to v. Let it be equation number 2, let it be equation number 3 and let it be equation number 4. Hopefully you have understood till this point. Now putting equation number 4 in equation number 2 as we got the value of v. So lambda will be equals to h upon m under root 2 into kinetic energy upon m. When this m, we try to bring it inside the under root, the equation we will be getting will be h upon under root 2 into kinetic energy m square upon m. This m and this m will get cancelled out. So let me erase this circle or otherwise it will just create a confusion. So the final equation we, will, we are here with lambda is equals to h upon under root of 2 into kinetic energy into m. This is the final value of lambda that we will be having. Apart from this, this equation can also be rewritten as since we know that kinetic energy is equals to EV naught. On putting this value in place of kinetic energy, we will be getting lambda is equals to h upon 2 m e v naught, where v naught is the stopping potential. Do remember that v naught is the stopping potential. Let me write down v naught is the stopping potential. Stopping potential. And hopefully you all know V, E, uh, e that E is the charge of electron, charge of electron. So as per the numerical comes or the derivation comes, you have to go for the uh, these equations basically. So let's go back and revise once and then we are going to conclude this topic. So de Broglie equation for the wavelength of an electron, what we know that lambda is equals to h upon p, which has been given by de Broglie. So p will be equals to mv. 
Now, from kinetic energy equation, we know that kinetic energy equals to half mv square and we will be getting the value of v. So, v will be equals to under root of 2 of kinetic energy, 2 into kinetic energy by m. On putting the value in place of v, the final equation we are going to get for lambda equals to h upon under root of 2 into kinetic energy into m. Hence, in place of kinetic energy, we can also use ev naught and the final equation or the one more equation, one extra equation that we are going to get is lambda equals to h upon under root of 2mev0, where v0 is the stopping potential and E is the charge of electron. Hopefully, you understood till this point. Thank you.